z tej strony Dyku i idziemy pogadać z Talii, która jest w barze, a bar mamy chyba na pokładzie załogi. Nie, to jest... Nie, dobrze. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port, you know. I'm having a drink with my boyfriend. My human boyfriend. <laughs> my father would have hated you. Here's to him, then. And to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Już, już. No myślę, że zazdrości tak pijesz, Tali. I jak już jesteśmy tutaj, to sobie zerknijmy do Liary. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Good to see you again, Shepard. Coś tutaj mamy z ulepszeń brak. I ja bym mógł pójść do centrum informacji. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Commander? Dobra, ja bym wrócił na Cytadelę. Zróbmy sobie te zadanie z Cytadelą. Związane. A Cerberusa mamy tutaj. Ale żadnych nowych misji nie mamy. Więc możliwe, że to już będzie z ostatnia misja. Tylko ja bym chciał jeszcze pójść do ambasady do Widma. You're Intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers. 
That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. No i to było ostatnie z takich mini zadań, które mamy. Przynajmniej tak mi się wydaje. Bo to na obecnie tego już nie zrobimy, bo nie mamy jak tam wrócić. No i ten ur urlop teraz zrobimy sobie. Zanim się wybierzemy do kwatery głównej Cerberusa, bo tam już podejrzewam, że będzie koniec gry. Nie zniszczymy Cerberusa, odzyskamy dane. Tak mi się przynajmniej wydaje. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge, clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. Mamy obejrzeć mieszkanko. Well, that worked for a while. 
Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Move like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. And seven he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. No ja mamy takie właśnie informacje tutaj głównie dotyczące Andersona. Mamy tam sprawdzić wiadomości, ale ja najpierw pójdę na górę. Muzykę wyłączyłem, bo się ciężej słucha, co jest mówione z tych datapadów. Wow, jaka łazienka Anderson. Tancerze, modyfikacje broni, to nam niepotrzebne. gdzieś tu. Tu mamy znowu jakiś pokój. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers 
were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the... IES, well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Turian scientist in shackles and a human Turian fistfight at Korra's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. No, i ten Saren, wiadomo co i jak z nim. No i widzimy, że te wiadomości coraz bardziej do nas przybierają na sile z dźwiękiem nawet. Czy jeszcze coś znajdziemy, żeby posłuchać, czy to już będzie wszystko, bo szczerze powiedziawszy bym wolał, żeby już się skończyły te informacje. Tu byliśmy. A, jeszcze mamy... Raz, dwa, trzy... Datapady. Katalog, łazienka. A, w ogóle sobie możemy to stosować, ale to podziękujemy. Nie będziemy się w to bawić. Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. 
If we were alone in the universe, now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were, about to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torians shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay.
And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, war tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader then? Mm -hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. Ale mogli dać jakąś twarz czy coś, żeby gadało, a nie tak sam tekst. Hej Szepar, chcę z tobą omówić parę spraw. Normandia siedzi w suchym doku, więc może odwiedzimy ten bar sushi Ryusei w okręgach. Podobno jest najlepszy Joker. A wiecie co, Jokera zróbmy sobie może w następnym odcinku, zrobimy sobie to właśnie takie cięcie. Bo myślę, że to będzie ciekawsze rozwiązanie. A więc gra z wami tyku. Zostawcie łapkę w górę, dajcie subskrypcję, zostawcie lajka i do następnego odcinka. Hej, hej!